Elmer is known in his community as a devoted family man and has a deep passion to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ all over Colombia. But Elmer's passion used to be something quite different. In fact, Elmer says he hated those he now considers his brothers and sisters in Christ. I was indoctrinated into Marxism and Leninism from very young. I became a guerrilla commander. The indoctrination led me to think that everything of Christianity needed to be abolished, so I killed many Christians. I displaced them from their lands and I persecuted them and wouldn't allow them to come together in their churches either. But Elmer's life would take a dramatic turn and he would go from being an enemy of the gospel as a commander with the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia, also known as FARC, to fervently proclaiming it. I had an encounter with God when I was fleeing from the government soldiers and they had me cornered. I was in a cave called Little Hell and I hide there. It started to rain very hard. The year was 2006 and Elmer knew he had to do something. Suicide was his only option. He was trapped and being captured by government soldiers was out of the question. I tried three times to commit suicide in that cave, and all three times I heard the voice of the Lord saying, don't do it. The fourth time I tried to commit suicide, all the hail and rain stopped and the wind was blowing softly, and I then heard the voice of the Lord say again, don't do it. I love you. You are my son. I felt the presence of the Lord. I felt so much peace and His tenderness towards me, and it didn't matter how dirty I was or how vile I had been. He was there for me, and I felt loved by Him. In that moment, I wanted to keep hearing His voice. Elmer was afraid to leave the cave, fearing the army was still nearby. A farmer had discovered him there and began to bring him food and after a few days asked Elmer to come out and invited him to his house, assuring him he would be safe. Soon after, Elmer would leave his life as a battle-hardened FARC commander and give his life to Jesus Christ, and would then enter into a different kind of war. After that time, I entered into a tremendous battle. Now I wasn't battling against flesh and blood but against my own self, my old nature versus God's nature. The old nature wanted to terrorize people and make them afraid, versus the new man in Christ Jesus. I had to choose who to follow. Even after coming to Christ, Elmer admits he wasn't very kind to his family, as the internal struggle raged inside. He was determined to continue to rule with an iron fist. However, after encountering the Lord in a powerful dream, he surrendered his life totally to Jesus, and the transformation began. He says his life and family were restored, and the hatred in his heart was gone. Not long after that, he would meet Russell Stendhal of Colombia Pericristo. He gave me all these materials that I needed to spread the Word of God to all these people. I have literature and radios, and I distribute them. So instead of being a messenger of hatred, now I am a messenger of peace. Elmer thinks of himself as kind of a 21st century Apostle Paul, who went from Christian hater to spreading the very message he used to despise. And like Paul, he has faced opposition. I know many in the FARC that would like to kill me. But the Lord has promised me that He is faithful and won't let me go. And His angels are with me, and I am safe with the Lord. I know there are people in the FARC who can't turn to the Lord like I did. I pray for them to come to the Lord. With the help of the Voice of the Martyrs Canada partner, Colombia Pericusto, Elmer runs a Christian radio station out of his home, trying to reach lost souls for Christ, including those who want to do him harm. 
the result of the distribution of Bibles, Christian literature, radio broadcast, and the movie La Montaigne about the conflict between the FARC, paramilitary, and the military are being used to reach people all over the country with the gospel. Almer says many of these people want new lives. They want to have families and want to know God deeper. We have promised the Colombian people that we will do everything we can so they can have changed lives. Elmer is not only haunted by the fact that he killed Christians, but that he prevented people from hearing the gospel. It's not just about the Christians I might have killed, but the fact I was a stumbling block for many others because I closed down churches. I didn't allow them to meet and many people didn't get to know the Lord because I wouldn't let them. And as a result, Elmer is devoting the rest of his life to telling others about Jesus Christ. He knows firsthand how dramatically a person's life can change. And he is willing, with the support of his family, to continue to put his life on the line to make sure this will happen.